Hi, I'm Brian Fallon from the Gaslight Anthem. Hey, I'm Brian Baker, and uh, I play in Bad Religion. My goodness, look at us, two Brian's. I know, there's two of us here. And Not a Y to be seen. No, there's two I's. Yeah. The Brian with an I is a it's a big thing. It's a it's it's a decider for me. Though yeah. there is a local guy with a Y who I will let slide. Yeah. One. One. But one. he's a bass player. <laughs> yeah. So less strings. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's why it's okay. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Well this, this is cool. Russo's orange. Yeah. Here we are. You know, I had an orange amp like 20 years ago that was totally rad. It was a rocker verb. Um, and I put a lot of pedals in front of it. I was in this huge, like, big noise, MIDI phase. And I kind of thought that that's what they did. And this, this showed up. Yeah. And this does everything. Yes. It, it doesn't just do that. It does Which is do really that. exciting yeah. for me. Because um, I can use this for all kinds of things, not just that one thing. Right. Well, having something with multiple things is great. Yeah, it's always best. Yeah. I, I kind of use it... Um, I came in contact with these not not terribly long ago, but they sort of did the thing where you don't have to use pedals. Yeah. So that, to me, with a volume knob, that really kind of turned me on to them. Yeah, I'm glad you brought up the volume knob because that's my clean channel. Yeah. And always has been. So this, I'm not switching anything because mm -hmm. I've always handled it just, you know. Yeah. Oh, it's not clean anymore. There you go. There you go. It's simple. And so how do you run yours? What's your sound right now? Right now is I'm kind of doing a Peter Green E 70s, uh, not too distorted, but you know, English. Just that's Lovely. that sound. So th it's the rock and roll sound. It sounds good. It sounds great. It sounds really good. It doesn't even sound bad at all. No, not in any way. All right, how do you have it set? Uh, I have it set. I've got the preamp on like 11 o'clock. 11. Yeah, and this thing, as you know, you can go nuts with this. Yeah. But this is backed way off, and I don't really have, I kind of just, everything's in the middle, really, and barely any of this presence, um, because I found that that affects this amp when it's much louder. Yes. Like the presence is cool, but it, when I play it at home, like, you know, alone, yes. when no one's home to yell mm. and play really loud, that's when I really hear that presence knob. You notice it more the, uh, the louder you get. A little cleaner, but same amp. You can kind of, you think it's going to be too loud, but it's not. It's stupid, stupid amounts of gain. This does that too. That does that too. Yeah, it doesn't seem to matter yeah. what color it and is. And you just turn it back down. What do you say, 11 o'clock? Yeah. And then you're back to like. There we are. We're back in our bands. Yeah, we're doing our thing. Whew. Right here. All right, wonderful. Yeah. That was fun. It's a beautiful thing. You weren't kidding. That just no, that was I, just that one thing. You just did the one thing. I was a, a, one thing. Yeah, one thing. Does all the things. Isn't that weird? That uh, I think that's why I started playing the orange amps is because one thing does all the things. Yeah. All the things I need. I'm learning so much. It's well, it's a wonderful I'm just, thing. I can't stop smiling. You see this? I'm I'm enjoying myself for real. This is great. Beautiful. Yeah. I got the, into the orange thing pretty recently, and like maybe like six months ago, I want to say. But yeah. conveniently, we—I was writing songs for a new record. 
Yep. And so I took it. I got excited. You know when you get excited about a new piece of, of gear? Of course. Of course. Yeah. It, uh, there's a song in there. There's, there's, there's well, a, it yeah. turned out there's a lot of them. Yeah. So then sure. I got all the sounds from it, and I sort of played it, became like my little friend. Yeah. And then I, I built all the sounds through it, and then was excited. I went, look, we're recording all the my tracks through this one thing. Yeah. And it was, it's funny, and yeah. that's a, a great coincidence, because I had... I've only had an orange around for like a week or two. Mm -hmm. And I already have riffs out of it because my band is also uh, working on a new record. Get out. And I'm like the kind of the riff guy. The riff like guy. they do the hard part, the heavy lifting, you know, words, <laughs> melodies. But oh, I, I bring in, you know, a little, yeah. uh, little wango tango. I and, love uh, it. <laughs> yeah, so I've actually already sent off multiple files featuring the Orange OR30 That's to beautiful. headquarters. Hey, Brian, how did you get that amp to sound like that right now? What um, are your settings? What to are you do setting? this, what I have here is I've got very little presence or fist. Okay. Um, then No I, fisting. No fisting, no no foot and speaker. No foot That's and not for this. That doesn't work that's until for, you have the switch plugged in. That's for a pedal, yeah. too. You can use that's a pedal. Technically a yeah, pedal. But, but yeah, I don't know, because right. it's passive. Yeah, yeah. Well. yeah. Uh, then I've got, basically, I've got volume on, you know, I don't know, as loud as that is. Um, pretty much, I'm kind of flat with the EQ. I haven't really done much, but the, and uh, I've got the preamp on 11. The trick here is this little switch. The bright switch. This little bright switch. And First orange amp ever to have one. Yeah, and it's cool because it does, it does a lot of different things. For this sound, I love that. You can get a little... It's a little, too, yeah. little boxier, and then you have. I mean, it's 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 clear as day. Yeah, it's funny that we both have it on the same position. The yeah. first bright switch. Yeah, it just seems to work. It, it's you know, I'm I'm still learning. I'm still learning, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I, I like it. It's, it's cool. It's great. Yeah. Cool. This this, uh, this old thing. Not too much different. Presence. I I'm a more. I like fist. Fist. I like the fists. Yeah. Then there's uh, the uh, the foot switch is off because I don't have a foot switch. My my volume is on two and a half here. Same thing. EQ. Uh, funny thing about these orange EQs, they go you you can kind of get away with like right up the middle. Ten, yeah. Everything, everything straight up. Yeah. Maybe I got a little bass rolled off because this this cabinet's bass here. Yeah. I do actually have some bass rolled off too, but it's it's interesting. This doesn't behave like. Uh, EQs on a lot of my other older amps, yeah. um, and so I'm still learning that too. But mm -hmm. it's uh, it's it seems to be uh, there's a sensitivity there, and they work in conjunction. It's not so much like here's bass, here's treble, here's mid. They all are affecting each other, which is um, really awesome. Yeah. The cool yeah. thing about the old oranges that this is sort of based off of too, the early '70s ones, is they didn't have a mid control. It was just a resistor. And uh, instead of that, it's a 22K resistor, nerd, for me. And now it's just a 25K knob that uh, sort of does that thing. But it doesn't go crazy. Like, you're not going to get, like, whoa, mid-range, and then nothing. I think this orange feels a lot different than the orange I had a long time ago. Yeah. It's got, uh, there's something... Uh, it's, it seems more controllable, if that makes any sense. Sure. It's like I had the, the old one I had years and years ago, which I think was a rocker verb. I don't even know which one. It was so loud. And it, the volume actually kind of changed the tone in ways that this doesn't. This will maintain what you want at a low volume loud. Yes. It's not dependent on the on the volume. And that's amazingly useful yeah. because I'm sure we both, we play in little places and big places and you want to be able to have the same awesome sound exactly, um, no matter how loud you are. That's true. The other thing that this does that a lot of oranges, actually no orange I think has ever done before, is it has a rectifier tube in the power supply. So you get a little bit of a squish. <laughs> little meow you can get from it, and it's nice. It, it, it does a little, little softer attack, and it kind of gives you something to uh, sort of lift off. It's, it's fun to play, easy. Yeah, for sure. Note separation is huge for me, and okay. that's been a big part of my sound since I, well, I, I only have one sound. So <laughs> yeah. uh, it's been a big part of the sound uh, since I started playing, and it's being able to hear each note in a chord. It's not just a mush. It's like that, that articulation 
is incredibly important. And I think it's just my like ACDC upbringing, yeah. like early and Australian stuff in general. It's like, I just always like to have it just on the verge of breaking up, but still where you can hear everything. And the good thing about this little thing is in the back here. Oh, it's got a little bedroom switch. Uh, and you can what's that, about two watts? About two or three? It's actually two watts. And uh, you know what I heard? Somewhere in the, uh, in the uh, ether from yeah. Orange, I heard that your television is 10 watts. So if your neighbor complains, you can tell them, go right to, to wherever place they go wow. that's bad. Yeah. I'm learning so much today. Yeah, and I, Thank I, I you. don't know if it's true, but that's what you can tell them. It's good to check in with the kids every once in a while. They'll, they'll yeah. surprise you. It's yeah. great. So there you have it. The OR30, made in the England. So you're from New Jersey. Yeah. Where'd that accent come from? I'm curious. Yeah. The one you just used. That's my, that's my, what accent? That's my normal. That's your normal thing. Voice. So you're, you're from Southern New Jersey? What do you mean?